Prairie should be planted in order to get the diversity of habitat. Uh, there's a lot of different wildlife species that do require uh, more than just the Carolinian forest habitat. That's what's most famous around here. We proceeded with this project. It's a fairly high hill. It's a sharp sand hill. And in the spring, the winds would come across there and the sand would blow so aggressively that there was times we couldn't even see the bush in the background. From an agricultural standpoint, it was borderline at best. So as far as marginal land is concerned, it's like instead of letting that sand blow all the time, let's do some soil conservation. Let's cover it up and so that the sand stays put and it's not going to make a huge financial impact on the farm. Um, I am not anti-agriculture in any way, shape, or form. Um, at the same time, I do really enjoy the trees. I really enjoy the habitat aspect of things. And I do think that they can coexist. Tallgrass Prairie, if you're interested in the history of plants, it's a plant that's at least 700 years old. The seeds that are in this drill came from plants that grew in Ontario a thousand years ago. This is a true axe drill. It's specialized to plant nothing but tall grass prairie. The fingers that feed the seed to the soil are specialized for that type of seed. And also it has agitators because tall grass prairie seed is fluffy and uh, is sometimes bridges and you want to accurately meter out that seed when you're broadcasting or, or drill seeding a site like this. When we bought this property, um, this land was field land uh, and we wanted it to be more of our own and we're not farming, but we didn't want to have to cut grass. So it's partly self-serving and partly because we wanted to do something um, that was environmentally friendly as well. Almost daily walk around the meadow with our two-year-old and she will stop and pick a flower or just she enjoys it even at her age. I love walking by it and smelling, um, especially the bergamot in the warm summer. It really lets off a lot of uh, fragrance. It's just beautiful to look at. It's very peaceful to sit in front of. If anybody's interested in creating a prairie or doing some wildlife habitat work, uh, they can call Lower Thames Conservation Authority. So if you've got the site and you're keen, you want to do it, you're going to want to create a seed bed that's going to give uh, tall grass prairie the most opportunity to grow the first year or establish itself properly.